Yeah, another one of these mornings. I gotta finish greasing that thing. It probably doesn't get greased as often as it should. Uh, I plucked the first two bales off of that thing yesterday before I had to go help Ty dig that baler out. And she creaked. So, yeah, it's time. And they keep changing that weather report, you know. But clear up there on that far ridge, that's kind of questionable. Looks to me like there's a little moisture in the air up there. Yeah, as of last night, now they say, well, there's a very, very slight chance Monday morning there might be maybe some drizzle. Yeah. Then the app on my phone, it changed again last night. And yeah, now they're saying rain. They just keep shuffling the days around. And we had a really heavy dew. There's still a few lines of it on the machine shed roof, but that upright bin's dry now. Means those bales ought to be dry enough. The dew don't bother them much anyway. It soaks in, dissipates. But I didn't get much greasing done on this. Really, I only got well the end of the tilt cylinder and this end of the leveler and my teeth done. This thing works pretty good considering. Get into soft bales like grass seed straw. That's harder to pick up. That's what the receiver tube is for. I got another set of teeth or spikes that go on. A little harder to get into the bale, but I don't drop them either. And these are great most of the time on a solid bale. Somewhere around here there's some pipes that slides over these that has another set of teeth and I got links that I think they come back to you know they come back to here so I end up with another set of teeth grabbing yeah all scrap iron you know but I gotta get the rest of this thing greased get that going no sunrise by the way so we'll get you something yeah, getting loaded again. Getting back there a ways. Hopefully she actually puts the top row centered. I mean, you know, close to center, side to side, but centered lengthwise on the others. The last load, she staggered them too much and I had to take the bales clear off and set them back on so I could pick two. And I don't know if I parked in the best spot. I parked in the guts of what was here. Usually, if somebody has the chance, they will bunch up loads, kind of get massed bales too high, and put two rows of those to make a load, or even more than a load in one place. But she's getting it done. She needs the experience. She does it pretty good. This load, you notice that front bale's kind of hanging. It's also not all the way forward. Oh, it's just going to move ahead. Maybe she's going to try to straighten that up. I don't know. Nope. I got to get out of the way of the other bales, maybe. Uh, she actually shorted it four bales yesterday because. She didn't leave her room on top for one to match the bottom. And she didn't get it far enough forward. Kind of like this load. I kind of had at least two more feet and that leaves room to get them on the back. But that's all right. We'll get her done. And I can even see the stack in the barn from here. I quit shaking. You can see it too. The right side of that end bay is the first day of bailing. And I'm going in beside it with these. To try to save the front for the not so good bales later in the year. The way over right dry crap. So that it gets the weather and not the good bales. I don't know what you can see, but 
I think you can see her. Oh, well. Almost loaded, I think. I can't see back there at all now. She had me, you can see how crooked she puts that first bale. That's all right. It ain't going on the road. I just got a clear fence post with it. Things have frosted my hide. I don't know what happened. I just made you a nice chunk of video. I walked down the lane, stopped at the kill deer nest, and got a shot of the eggs, and got the shot of Mama down by the burn barrel, trying to tell me not to be there. And uh, yeah, got a shot, of, a better shot than this, of the hay inside the barn. Should be 95 bales in there, because we fed five since we started baling. Got you a shot of the creek. A shot of Tyler who's up behind me checking fence. I'm gonna get Bam Bam's group just into the lane here today. Make them eat that down before they go into one of the hay fields. And Dino's group will go in up there into that gate into the west hay field. They can give that a break finally. We let them out. Middle of March. They haven't been off that since. Same over here. Well, actually over here they were, they got the lane once and they've had this. So, anyway. And I'm going to uh, go see if I can back these things back in with this tractor. It's going to be a nightmare. Um, goes in the other side of the swather up there. There's a swather and then the old trailer it goes between the trailer and the fence up there into the corner of that patch. It might not get there. I might cheat and stick it somewhere else. I don't know. We'll find out. Well, there's one bolt out. There's the other one for this shoe. If you can see an issue here or not. I'm hoping I can get the bolt out. Otherwise, I don't know what the hell. Well, actually, I do too. Um, take these two bolts out that hold it to the frame and then drop it down. Get it below that to get it out. Because this piece is welded to here. But what this is bolted to is actually over here. Drop it down, maybe it'll come out. So this is what I'm working on. Um, I did find, uh, let's see, disc mower doctor who Michigan Hay, Ray, he said they were good. Yeah, they are. Driveline for here came today. It goes right up there. They show the other shoes. They show them for $58, and when you scroll down, they are unavailable. Uh, Case IH. Since New Holland made the same mower, said Case IH on it. Went through them because we usually get better prices from them. Yeah, there's one of those shoes in Woodburn. There's two of them in Harrisburg. I could have either one of them Wednesday or Thursday, since Monday's a holiday, you know. But that only gives me two, and if you're going to do it, you should do all of them. I'm not going to do all of them. That I, I, I don't see why you need to. You know, the John Deere had adjustable on each end and still had this same setup on all the middle ones for a skid plate to protect it. I mean, almost exact same design, but the John Deere's we had didn't have the segmented cutter bar. Well, anyway, I got one bolt out. That took a three-quarter inch and... Oh, about a two-foot piece of pipe and almost broke the creeper pushing up on it. I got the other one loose, but it's to the point where a box wrench won't work anymore because I can't get it off to turn it. So, yay. We do it like this. Half a flat at a time. And it's not loosening up. The other one at least loosened up right after I got it broke loose and I took it out with my fingers. And if I'm really, really, really lucky, there's just enough clearance there to get it out because the bolt isn't all that long. 
it's, I don't know, three quarters of an inch. I'm just not sure I got that much room here. Well, we'll find out. Anyway, this is what I'm doing. Uh, my plan is the higher cutting shoes are obviously longer here. And then they have stiffeners, however thick they are, welded on the edges. Probably helps keep shit from getting in there, too. Um, I'm going to try to do something similar to that. And, of course, you know, these aren't new, so there's a little wavy to it. I'll just cut to match it. But I think rather than being the hole right there, if, you know, from this hole up, if I can get a hole about here, that'll give it an inch and a half, at least an inch. So instead of three inch, you're going to be at least four inch. You know, we cut by what we could tell anyway with the old John Deere's. We cut almost everything at four inch unless it was bottom ground and the moles and gophers had really high mounds. Then we'd cut higher. Or if we were in a patch that had crap in it, you know, rocks and that kind of shit, we'd cut higher. But otherwise, you know, four inches, maybe five inches is probably a really good height. I just know that this three inches can't be three inches. It just doesn't come out right for that. And look at that. I can almost keep turning it with my fingers. I did a little. Half a turn anyway. Just enough to screw me up on getting a wrench back on it, right? Story of my life. I was really hoping just to take the impact and put on these, but that's in the way. I mean, I might have been able to get on this one, maybe, but... I think that's about where it'd be. And this one, there's no way. So, hey, cheers to those engineers. May they choke on their steak and drown in their beer. And God knows they better not drink whiskey because they ain't good enough people for that. So, anyway, this is what I'm doing. Maybe it's a long enough video, maybe it's not. I might bring it back, I might not, but I did get those rakes put away. Actually, it wasn't too awful bad. I was able to get straightened up pretty good and they cooperated. The problem with that hitch trying to back up is the lead rake will decide to take off somewhere and that's kind of a pain in the ass to get it back the direction you want it. And oh, so close, so close. So close. <sighs> Jesus. Why? The good thing is, I think it's clear in that piece. It just ain't clear in the nut. Freaking A. Go figure. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with my misery. And uh, hopefully, y'all had a good day today and y'all have a good tomorrow and be safe this weekend thanks for watching everybody and hey i noticed like i've been getting a lot more views but the likes and the comments are staying the same if you're gonna watch a video at least hit the like on your way through even if you don't watch the whole thing it helps everybody out you know little things i know a lot of people always beg everybody hey like it and and comment and subscribe well yeah, I ain't into begging. I I did ask that early on when I was on here, but you know, yeah. Guess I'm taking that out. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Be safe. Like a bad dream, I'm back. Showed you that before. It don't move at all. Plus the twist in it. That's all she can do to it. It won't move other than that. Hey, it's a nice new one. Look at that. If I let go of it, it'll be just like a slinky and go right to the floor. Yeah, we don't want to do that because the last thing I want to do is ding this thing. Um, here's the other thing. Nice, perfect spline.
There's a wee bit of wear to those. And she's wondering what she's looking at. My t-shirt's fucked. No, it's not. It's paint's knocked off. No, it's actually chipped if you feel it. My finger crossed it. And she says we're screwed. Who knows? Yeah. It got banged somewhere. Yeah. It's got a burr on it. And it looks... Because that's yeah, similar it looks like to what the this same, looks so. like. Guess what she's gonna? Yeah, look at that one. That's what that one. You get shit in there. But that's so she, she's just swap. she's just gonna take that one out and put it in I'm this one. I'm gonna take this one out too and keep it. And yeah, that one's on a little different angle. Hmm. And it turns this way, so that'll catch even more shit. That's why I'm gonna try to put a guard up there. Keep stuff out of it. 